All right, we are in Assetto Corsa again. Um, this one actually is kind of interesting. I uh, just happened to stumble across it. It's a Singapore highway project. Um, it is largely incomplete, but is interesting in a lot of, uh, well, I guess, sort of, if you find freeways interesting and freeway traffic, this actually had um, two real traffic already embedded in it and running, so uh, didn't have to tweak anything, do anything, just downloaded it. Um, it's an interesting map. I'll just leave it at that. Fully enabled with pure weather. A lot of maps tonight and wasn't happy with uh, any of them. Uh, I did look at a couple of uh, Toge maps that were kind of interesting. Um, one is uh, Project Toge, um, which is really sort of like a skateboard park for drifters. Very interesting map. And uh, a couple of other hill climbs, but all of them were like one and a half kilometers long, and uh, eh, that's too short for a video. So I stumbled across this, thought it was interesting. Mostly for the, the traffic element, and uh, I thought it was visually satisfying somehow without a lot of like buildings and stuff built in it yet it's just the the weather um this looks interesting i don't know i might be alone in that does uh, sort of end abruptly. Um, it feels largely incomplete in terms of like the scenery. It, it feels like you're on a freeway to heaven or something. Maybe this is what it's like when you die if you're a car enthusiast. I'm going to stop the Assetto Corsa um, Great Drives Free Roam playlist at 50. I may break that rule. I don't know. 50 sounds like a good round number, but that means that I've got to go out with a real bang. And so I've got something in mind that's a little bit different than what we've been doing. Similar, but different still. Um, I don't want to ruin the surprise, but I've actually have alluded to a particular uh, set of tracks that I enjoy immensely. And I uh, figure that might be a good finale and do something a little special. I don't know 
why this is satisfying, but it really is. Not what I intended to do tonight. I actually, I wanted to do the uh, follow-up to the Col de Tannenkirk um, French Countryside Drive. Uh, the author of that has done two other maps, and I've tried both of them, and they crashed my Assetto Corsa, so that's not good. I did a couple of toge maps and they were way too short, just weren't good for a video. Enjoyable, good driving, but too small for content. And then uh, Project Toge was expansive. And a really good map, but it was uh, too tight to be enjoyable as a long drive, and it was a longer drive. So I, I felt like Goldilocks tonight. I couldn't find a track map that was just right until I stumbled across this one. And, my, you know, this is kind of fun. It's a straight line, but it's uh, got traffic working without any hassle. Unfortunately, that's the map. I can turn around there, I guess. And we can go back the other way. Yeah, this is a, a strange map, but it's oddly satisfying with the rain and thunder and... enjoyed all these drives and you know there are new maps coming out all the time there are updates to existing maps and uh, before I start repeating the maps that I've driven I, I find it pretty incredible that you know without too much hassle we found this will be 49 I guess original maps that uh, have been made for the Assetto Corsa community and uh, provide value some sort of driving value. Some of them are absolutely visually gorgeous. Some of them are just really fun drives. Some are older tracks that need a little bit of love and attention. Um, and some of them are just favorites. And that's what it's all about, really, is uh, finding things that you enjoy driving. And and that doesn't necessarily have to just be free roams and driving around like this. Like, uh, you know, some people really like racing. I like racing. I tend to do most of my racing on iRacing, but I've got some uh, exciting, exciting updates and, and some new sim titles that are coming out. Um, there's going to be a big update for Automobilista 2 coming out here shortly. Uh, Assetto Corso e Evo is coming out um, here imminently in uh, January, and that'll be you know beta for a while, but it'll demonstratable be a lot of fun to drive iRacing's got a lot of big plans um, I actually saw a couple of videos today by content creators including Jimmy Broadbent um, Jardier um, 
and others talking about the new race room um, updates. I guess they did a recent update of race room that made it more visually appealing and it looks a lot better than it used to. It look as uh, cartoony, for lack of a better word, as it used to. And uh, they just came out with some uh, super touring cars that are kind of throwbacks to the 90s and uh, British touring car history. And uh, looked like a lot of fun to drive. Some front wheel, some all wheel drive, some rear wheel drive cars all competing in a uh, tightly regulated series. And I guess the, the racing was incredible in the 90s in this particular series. And uh, nice iconic vintage race stuff, sort of like the, the DTM stuff that they released um, not so long ago. There's a lot of stuff to try, a lot of stuff to play around with, and uh, the what's next light is flashing in my head, so we're going to do some fun stuff. I'm looking forward to the Automobile Easter 2 update, mostly because I, I always love trying out the new uh, updates to that particular sim. And uh, evidently, part of this update is... Uh, Low fuel motorsports uh, integration, so you can do LFM races uh, online, which I've not played with LFM. I've read a lot about it. I've seen others have played around it, and, and maybe I'll jump into that foray with Automobile Easter too. That could be a lot of fun. We'll have to see. Not a lane thing is kind of funny. That's where we came out of earlier. That's some sort of an airport? That's interesting. Singapore Highway Project. Um, it's incomplete, but it's fun to drive. Um, can't complain too much about that. There we go. Um, hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, and uh, hope you come back. Thanks for joining me tonight. Take care.